All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, behind me is my 94 Mustang GT project car that we're calling the Hellstang, and it's going to be a turbocharged 5-liter motor. We're getting ready to build this thing for the Hot Rod Power Tour that's coming up in June of 2023. And today, we're going to be rebuilding the alternator. Yes, rebuilding. So I was able to find a kit online for only about 30 bucks, and uh, I've, you know, I was thinking, okay, well, about 100 or so for a brand new alternator, only 30 for the rebuild kit. Why not rebuild it? And then I can take the housings. I'm going to take those along with some other parts that I need to get uh, sandblasted and powder coated anyway, and it'll probably only cost 15, 20 bucks. So uh, yeah, so I figured it'd be kind of a cool, fun uh, Sunday project. So got my daughter out here. She's going to give me a hand and we're going to get this thing blasted apart. And I think our kit will be here later tonight and we'll get the uh, new voltage rectifier put in, new bearings. Um, so should be a relatively simple thing to do, but we'll see. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get off our little pulley, our little nut. And so this is going to be a 24 millimeter. And I'm just gonna go ahead, try to blast this baby off. Let's see what we can do. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's our pulley. We won't be reusing this pulley either. <laughs> Did I hit you with some, some dust and dirt? Okay. But we do have an aftermarket pulley. Let me. Yeah, so we've got a nice, beautiful aftermarket pulley that'll be going on here anyway. So that'll be cool. But we got this off. Cool. And we're going to be replacing the bearing that's in here. But now I think we just got to start taking off the back. So we've got some uh, Torx bits back here. Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five little Torx bits that hold on this voltage uh, rectifier. And we got some nuts. So we're just going to start taking stuff apart, see what happens. All right, so four of these little Torx bits and this little voltage rectifier came out. So it looks like you don't need to take that middle one out. So that's easy. So we'll pop this off. We'll get this out of here. And then it looks like just four, no, three bolts. Yeah, three bolts should hold the housing and then come apart and then see what we got to do to get the bearings all off and all that stuff. All right, so we got all these bolts out. Now, let's see, this thing should just uh, hopefully just fall apart. Let's try something like this here. Urgh. Here, you hold the camera. Okay. Man the camera, lady. Okay, cool. So we got a housing we can take to go get powder coated. We need to get these, uh, we'll have to use the puller to get the bearing out. Oh, and then how does this come off here? It's all kinds of magic. Oh, well, duh, okay. Woo! Okay. Cool, look at that. Orange. <laughs> so I think this is the little back bearing we'll replace. And then the front. This is some kind of... Is that a bearing? Oh no, that's just a collar thing, okay. So cool, yeah, not much to it, right? Bearing there, replace the back bearing. And then how does this come apart? 
from our housing here. Oh, just like that. Okay, so <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's easy. So, so we keep the guts. These are the parts we'll take to go get. Uh, and then I think our rebuild kit comes with a new plastic one of these. Um, so if we can't save this, oh, that was easy. It came right out. So it looks like, yeah. So we just got our little aluminum pieces here. We'll take these, get these things powder coated. We'll have to get the bearing out first. Uh, so let's see if we can figure that out. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. So, oh, nope, flip it over the other way. All right, so I was just looking at this. Looks like there's just three little tiny bolts, maybe seven or eight, and that must just hold that bearing in. So I don't even think we have to press it out or anything. Get this off and see if we can knock that right out. All right, so to get this bearing out now, we got our little plate off and it looks like it just presses, you know, going this way. Um, so I do have a little bearing uh, removal set, driver set. If you don't, you could probably just use a pretty large um, socket, which I thought I had one somewhere. But anyway, you could use a socket, same thing. Put a socket here, drive it down, it'll pop this bearing out. Um, I'm gonna do kind of just a similar thing and push it out with one of these smaller guys. Yeah, so it looks like a 39 and a half millimeter is going to be the ticket. So we're just going to take that, drive our own out. All right, good. So we ended up getting the alternator all taken apart. I ended up taking the two halves and I took those over to the sandblaster uh, to get sandblasted and also powder coated. I'm going to powder coat it black. Uh, so it sounds like maybe those won't be back for about a week. So uh, so we're splitting this up into part one and part two. Once I get the parts back, we'll put it back together. But what also showed up uh, later that day that I want to show you guys was our little kit. So let me get you in here close. We'll show you what we got. Again, this is only 30 bucks. So we got our voltage regulator. And then this piece, I think it's part of the regulator. Just uh, this is where those two bolts were on the original one. And then, of course, our big bearing, our little bearing on the back. And then the new red piece. And and that's all there is to it on these um, Ford, you know, I think this is the third gen alternator 3G. So very simple. I mean, literally, it probably took me like five minutes to take that thing all apart. Uh, maybe a little bit longer just because I was kind of showing my daughter, you know, how to use the tool and stuff. But super, super easy, guys. I mean, for 30 bucks, it's probably worth a shot. Just blast that thing apart, clean it up, put it back together. Good to go. So that's going to be it for this one. Once the parts come back, we'll do uh, video number two, put that thing all back together and see how it all looks. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Don't miss any new content, like, share, all that good stuff. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.